College of King and Lady Luck and Queen. It's the Joker's Wild. And now, here's the host of the show, Bill Cullen. Oh, thank you. Hello and welcome, welcome and thank you very much. Welcome to the Joker's Wild. I don't imagine there are all sorts of clever things I could say, but in lieu of that, why don't I pick up where we left off last time? We had a fine game started between a uh, nice couple, Ruth and Jan, but I'll tell you what, Charlie will tell you more about that, so Charlie, if you would, bring him on back. He's a filmmaker whose interests include backpacking and roller skating, Jan Kreveline. And our current champion is from San Diego. She enjoys music and bowling. Her winnings total in cash, $500, Ruth James. And we welcome both of you back. Happy you could come back. We always talk to the challenger first. Jan, we know about your filmmaking. Uh, what do you do for uh, fun or, you know, sort of oh, to relax? Well, lots of uh, physical things, swimming and hiking, but uh, probably what I enjoy the most is roller skating. You enjoy roller skating? Oh, I love it. Love a lot it. of fun. You do, where do you roller skate? Like on the street? Uh... Yeah, I, I lived in Manhattan for a few years, and that was, it's the greatest outdoor roller rink in the whole world. It's fantastic. I could, you, I, it's just great. In Manhattan? <laughs> you can go anywhere. Manhattan in New York? Yeah. You yeah, had to watch the taxis. That was that's right. I know, I know. I lived there for many years. You probably had to watch me, too. But we'll, we'll see if we, we can sort of roll on here to some sort of victory. Great. Hey, look at our champion. She is back with us. She has on a beautiful blue outfit. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Ruth Jane. So far, a $100 winner. Welcome back, Ruth. You've been a real good contestant so far, Ruth. What inspired you uh, to come to Hollywood and try out for our show? Well, it wasn't in Hollywood. It was in San Diego at uh, KTTY. Oh, Channel 69 yeah. in San Diego. And they uh, were, they had a spot on their uh, television that uh -huh. said that the producers of Joker's Wild was coming down to San Diego, uh -huh. and they wanted contestants. So I called and made an appointment, and I and came down, are. and here I am. Well, you know, we do appreciate their help down there because they do send us people, and they're all very nice people, and we appreciate Thank having you. them help us, and we appreciate having you with us, Jan. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Now we got, I mean, Ruth, I called you Jan. We got Jan and Ruth. Uh, if you're both ready, let me get away here, show you the categories we're going to be playing with. These are the ones we started with last time. They are state capitals, all about colors, literature, rock music, and finally, fast-forward politics. You know how that goes. You can answer as many questions as you can. Let's take a look at the scores. When time was called, uh, Jan had 200, and hey, Ruth had $400, a nice lead there. Uh, before you begin, Jan, you're going to spin in a moment. If either of you come up with a natural triple jackpot, that's three categories the same, excluding jokers, we stop and give you what's in there. Right now, it is worth $4,100 in merchandise. That goes, <laughs> goes up every day. I'd like to see someone win it. Good luck to you, Jan. Spin away. Okay, I need him now. You do. Jan Trebleen. He has all about color, state capitals, and another state capital. What would you like to do? Well, I guess I'll take state capitals for 100, please. I guess so. In 1792, the capital of North Carolina was founded. It was named for the noted English explorer who colonized that state's eastern coast. For $100, please, Jan, name North Carolina's capital. Raleigh. Raleigh, named for Sir Walter of the same name. All right, Ruth, good luck. Thank you. Ruth Spin, she comes up with fast forward joke. Oh, boy. Oh. Well, I know you know this. I know you know this, Jan. Ruth is in very good shape. What are you going to do, uh, Ruth? Look over the board. Uh, she's obviously looking over the board. Yeah, you go ahead and do that. Yes. Hello? All about colors for a hundred. You are going for all about colors for a hundred dollars. Now, what she did was take her two jokers off the board, which she may do. And if you get this one right, you win the hundred. That brings you up to five. That means you've won the game and one thousand dollars. So here it is, all about colors for a hundred dollars, for the game and a thousand dollars. Actor Warren Beatty won an Academy Award for directing this epic 1981 film. It told the true story of John Reed, an American journalist who became involved in the Russian Communist Revolution. 
for a hundred points and a win and a thousand dollars name that film Ruth please do not help you mm -hmm. don't know Warm. Oh no. boy, Jan! Look at the look at the look of relief on Jan. Jan, you can have the hundred if you can name the film. Red. You name the film. You got the hundred. That's so obvious. There is, there is nothing having someone work on a film question and a filmmaker over there waiting to see if she misses. We'll be back here and pick it up in just a moment. Honestly, I don't know that. Well, if you take a look at our two players over there, what you see are two players. One has won uh, $500, that's Ruth, and the other has just got a second chance at life. That's yeah. Jan. Uh, Jan, you have 400 and Ruth has 400 You've been saved and you have a spin now, so go ahead and okay, good luck. the bonus here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what Jan does. Rock music all about and a joker to use. Let's see what he does with that. I think I'll go rock music for a hundred, please. And this would give you five hundred dollars and a very possible win, Jan. Rock music. The hit songs of this American rock star include Hurt So Good and the 1985 single Lonely All Night. His stage name is John Cougar, but in the 80s he added on his real last name for five hundred dollars and a possible win he is john cougar who do not help Sorry. time is up <laughs> I, I have to giggle because if i get a right answer from ruth two, two things are going to happen she's going to win I'm the game faint. and a thousand dollars and i'm going to pass out <laughs> all right and i promise that ruth okay all right ruth now for the game thousand dollars he is john cougar who ruth Schubert. <laughs> <laughs> who wrote who wrote the famous old song Cougar Serenade? And, no, it is John Cougar Mellencamp. Oh, we all boy. knew that, didn't I we? You should have known that. You should have. I I heard that. There is no <laughs> excuse in this world for not knowing that, Ruth. What you have is a spin coming, so go <laughs> Thank ahead. You. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> you have rock music. Good for you. Literature. Well, you got what are you gonna do? Okay. Literature for 100. I had a feeling you were going in that direction. If you get it, once again, it's the game in $1,000. One Nobel Prize winning English author used young boys as the heroes of two of his most popular novels. They were Kim, K-I-M, and Captains Courageous for $100. The game, $1,000 total winnings, Ruth. What was the author's last name? That's important. Ah. Time is up. The reason I said it is important. If Jan can come up with the author's last name, he has won the game, becomes champion, and has $500. What was the author's last name for everything, Jan? Kipling. Kipling is right. Congratulations. <laughs> Well, well, Ruth and Jan, you gave uh, me a very interesting and exciting game because it kept switching back and forth, and Ruth kept winning on Jan's questions, and Jan kept winning on Ruth's. Jan, I congratulate you. In a moment, we're going to give you a chance to go against the devil. But first, I have to thank one of the nicest ladies we've had with us for a long time, Ruth James from San Diego. And if they're all like you, let them send up some more. Thank you, Ruth. Thank Bye -bye. you, Bob. Thank you. We'll be back in just a minute. turn out for a while, but I'd sure know now you're a brand new champion. You got 500 bucks. You're ready to go for the big money? You bet. Come on, going to give you a chance to play against the devil. <laughs> you, uh, little did you think when you were a young shaver in school that Rud Rudyard Kipling would be, did you ever stop thinking of that responsible personally for winning you 500 bucks? No, that's actually nice, isn't it? Yeah, right. he, was, he was always a nice guy. He never did a thing for me. You know what happens now. You get a chance to go against the devil. If you get all the way through without seeing the, the devil come up, you win the money, which is a thousand or more, plus this prize, Jan. Jan, you'll enjoy spectacular mountain views with these gifts. First, Jan, you'll scan the horizon with these powerful binoculars. Bausch & Lomb Compact Binocular is one of the first names in sports optics. Waterproof, fog-proof, and center focus enables you to get closer to the action from Bushnell. 
Then you'll capture the views with this top-of-the-line camera. The Agfa Compact 35mm motorized camera with snap-on flash, plus a year's supply of Agfa chrome film with processing. From Agfa Gaver, it's preferred by those who know. And finally, Jan, all you need now is the mountains themselves. And we want you to enjoy the best so you'll view the Alps in picturesque Switzerland. <laughs> Land of old world charm, cool lakes and majestic mountains. While there, you'll be staying in Switzerland's largest city, Zurich. Known for its cobblestone streets, timepieces, and music boxes. You'll stay at the Hotel Zurich, the modern village hotel in the heart of Zurich, on the bank of the Lamatt River. Features an indoor swimming pool, fitness club, and shopping arcade. Enjoy Swiss hospitality at the Hotel Zurich. This Mountain Views package is worth in cash and prizes over $4,350. Well, it's a nice package. Ending up... You ever been to Switzerland? No, no. Beautiful, beautiful place. I haven't been many places, but I have been there, and it is a magnificent country. Now, you know, of course, and I want to remind... I got the money on it. I'm more ready to pay you. They haven't won yet. But I want to tell you that you may quit at any point and take the money at that point. You do understand that. Okay. All right, the audience will help, but as I say, what do they know? Good luck, give it a spin. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Let's see, Jan had... Luck was all spent. Well, huh, it was, it was. I guess, I guess Kipling was the last good deed yeah. for the day. The audience didn't get a chance. That's the fastest the devil has come up in weeks and weeks and maybe even months. But if the law of averages means anything, maybe you're finished with the, the devil from here on in. So, you still have yourself the $500. You're still playing. And right now, if you'll stay here with me, we'll give you an opportunity to see your new opponent. Charlie, if you would, please. Well, Bill, he's a photographer who enjoys bicycling and the movies. Frank Turner! <laughs> Hello, Franz. Hi. Welcome. We are happy to have you. Got here. You got here at, at Jan's low ebb, as it were. Devil mm -hmm. on the first shot. I suppose you saw that. Uh, you're a photographer. What yes, kind of Bill. pictures do you take? I'm, I've always been interested in photography. Well, I do uh, promotional photography, and I do some album covers, oh. and uh, I've had some successful posters. What What kind of posters have you done, Franz? Well, you may have seen some. I shoot some fancy cars mm -hmm. with uh, fancier women. Oh. Well, now, that's the, I'm sure, I'm sure I've seen him because I'm very interested in fancy cars. I, and I'm interested in the other. Actually, I, I've done some photography myself, and I, uh, maybe later on we'll get a chance to talk a little bit about picture taking, okay? Okay. We've got Franz here, and we've got Jan here. We'll be back to give them a chance to play a game. But right now, a little bit of business. Let's <laughs> start a game with Franz and Jan. Uh, fellas, take a look behind me here. These are the categories we'll be using. They are silver screen... American Revolution, fairy tales, crossword definitions, and stumpers. There's a question where you can double the value of the spin. A question been missed on prior shows. So we're all ready to go. Good luck to both. And friends, if you're ready, spin away and okay. I'll call out the result. Here we go. Come on, you joker. Fantastic. <laughs> fairy tales, crossword, three-way split. Um... I'll take silver screen for 50, though. You got it. And silver screen is a visual, so I will step out of the way to give you a chance to see the picture. Take a look at that picture, please, friends. In an exciting 1985 film, the actor holding the gun portrayed an ex-CIA agent who attempted to rescue his kidnapped wife. For $50, what's the last name of this veteran actor, friends? Hackman. Sure, it's Gene Hackman. <laughs> All right, champ, it's your turn. Okay, jokers. Chan has fairy tale silver screen. Hey, you got a joker. Well, I think I'll go silver screen for 100, please. Once again, I'm get, get out of the way so you can take a look. A visual here. Take a look at this picture. It's a 1976 film. These two movie superstars portrayed a couple of hard-nosed newspaper reporters. The question for $100 to you, Jen, what's the film's four-word title? All the President's Men. That's right, every word. And the, uh, I'm sure both of you know, I'm sure both of you know and do our people at home that the actors were Robert Redford and Dustin Hoffman. So it's 100 bucks up there for Jan, 50 for France. France, good luck. Okay. France spins. You have American Revolution, Silver Screen. Oh, well, we're getting splits. Okay, um, silver screen again for 50. Okay, take a look at this picture if you would. Francis has been a busy category here. 
these two comedy stars both made a successful transition from television to the big screen. For your 50 bucks, what's the last name, Franz, of either of these two actors? Uh, Aykroyd. Aykroyd is right. Dan Aykroyd. <laughs> and the other? You don't have to answer. The other is Chevy Chase. Right. And they appeared, uh, that picture was from the 1985 film Spies Like Us. So you have a spin coming, Jan. Let's see if you can beat that okay, devil. Okay, let's see who jumps American Revolution, again. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Congratulations, Jan. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you heard what I said as you were spinning. I said, go ahead and take the spin. Let's see if you can beat the bad luck the devil brought you there a few moments uh, ago. Yeah. And boy, did you do it. The natural mm -hmm. triple jackpot, that's what that is, three across there. And you, uh, it's been gathering for several days now. It's worth 4100 In there, we have luggage. We have sheets, we have recliners, dishwashers, uh, cookware, a typewriter, diamond watches, all sorts of things. Total value for you right now, $4,100. Hey. Now. Thank you. Well, Fantastic. you are very welcome. And because you have three of a kind up there, your category has been chosen for you. It is naturally the American Revolution, and it is for $200. So you ready to go? Sure. Question, right. well, this has been a good one for you. After the revolution, the hero who had led the Green Mountain Boys to victory at Fort Ticonderoga attempted to negotiate treaties with the defeated British armies. Now, this patriot for $200 was Ethan Allen. Oh, you are right. <laughs> Ethan Allen. <laughs> in school, in school and everywhere else, I always confused Ethan Allen and Nathan Hale. But give me the first name and I'd know who it is. Did you have that same problem? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's well, you did it. You have a nice lead now. And it's, what, 300 to 1. Friends, we're ready for you to take a fast spin. Okay. You need some Come on, luck. Joker. We need them. Friends needs to catch up. Stumper, American Revolution, Joker, friends. Um, I think I'll take Stumper's for... A hundred. Okay, these are uh, questions which were missed by two players on a previous round. Now, after I ask you the question, don't answer, I'll give you a choice. The category of this Stumper's question, friends, uh, was and is games. One of the most popular of all outdoor games involves implements which were once called mashies, lofters, and niblicks. And scoring terms such as metal play, match play, and Nassau. Your question will be, name the game. Now, before you answer, I can help you avoid two wrong answers by telling you what were given by the previous players who missed, or you can win double the value or $200 by answering without any help. Which way do you want to go? Um, I'd like to go for double, I think. Okay, and answer without any help. Yeah. Okay, what was the name of the game we're talking about? Croquet. No, no, it is not. And Jan, right now, if I, ha I read the two wrong answers for you. Uh, no, I don't. No. Right now, if you can answer, that's $200 for you, and you win the game, and total winnings are 5100 bucks. If you can tell me the game. Cricket? No. By golly, I'm surprised. It's a game very popular even today. Mashies, lofters, nibbles, golf. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> the first three-year-old golf clubs and the scoring terms are all terms used in golf. So it stands 100 to 300 in Jan, you have a spin. Okay. Go for it, Jan. The okay. Joker, Stumpers, Silver Screen. I think I'll take Stumpers for 100, please. Okay, again, don't answer. I'll give you a choice. Each year, the uh, category in the Stumpers question, rivers. Each year, thousands of Hindus visit the holy cities and temples which line the banks of India's mightiest river. It flows from the Himalayas to the Bay of Bengal. For $100, name this sacred waterway. Now, I'll give you the two wrong answers for 100 or you can go for 200 and the game if you answer without any help. Which way uh, do you want to go? I'll go for 200 without the help, please. For 200 and now, if you get this right, $5,100 is yours. What's the name of the sacred waterway? The Ganges. Ganges is right. <laughs> Huh? 
Well, you had you had terrible luck spinning against the devil, but you've done very well everywhere else, Jan. Yeah. You now have total winnings of five thousand one hundred, and oh, you can't beat that. Friends, we. We thank you, Franz Turner, ever so much. We wish you well. We have some very nice consolation prizes for you. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. Come back to Turk as well. I've got a word for you right now. And I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks. Goodbye from the Joker's Wild. See ya. We're adding a range to the next at the jackpot. What if you're cooking with a Deluxe Hardwood Century Series gas range recommended by Chef Tell? Full feature with a continuous cleaning oven and contemporary design from Hardwood Stove Company. And now the natural triple jackpot is worth over $1,350. Some of our departing contestants will receive Sarah Coventry, a leader in fashion accessories, is now available in retail stores. Sarah Coventry is fine jewelry to accent today's fashion. Plus, introducing Blue Bonnet Spread in a big new two-pound size. Everything's better with Blue Bonnet on it. Jack Barry and Ted Enright Productions.